All right, let's get started uh, right away. I got you for about an hour. Um, I want to go a little bit back in my background a little bit. Uh, I'm over a 20 year plus trader now, going on 22 years. Um, right out of uh, actually before and in college um, with uh, uh, Kidder Peabody, um, I was uh, working with uh, soybeans and corn futures at the time. Right out of college, uh, finance degree, and went right into trading uh, right away. Um, really worked with the uh, uh, corn and soybean futures, and then moved over to the S&P 500. And then I went into a, a small order execution trader, went against the uh, institutional traders, uh, went uh, up against um, l large uh, hedge funds, and also uh, prop firms, uh, and trading basically individual stocks. We take big blocks of stocks, trade the spread, uh, almost like floor traders back in the 1990s. You probably probably heard of us, uh, you know, SOS traders. And then I moved on to uh, strictly S&P 500 futures for a while, and then uh, directly moved on um, from the S&P mainly into crude oil and gold, and then the S&P also futures. So my main combination is futures trading. Uh, the system that uh, I developed has been a culmination of what I've learned over the past 22 plus years. Um, I was very fortunate to uh, work under two of the greatest minds that I have found on Wall Street. Um, one, Larry Williams and uh, Tom DeMarc. Learned a lot of great techniques from those guys in the middle 1990s. Um, actually went to Vegas uh, and uh, actually went to one of their webinars and uh, I actually got to meet them and uh, really, really two legendary traders that um, that really turned my trading around. Uh, the first six years of trading was, was pretty rough in the fact of I did a lot of counter trend trading. I, I really didn't have a trading plan methodology and um, I tried to pick the highs, pick the lows. And very frustrating because, uh, you know, in the mid or middle 1990s, I really turned it around and, and really started focusing on buying and selling retracements. And that's when I really got involved with one strategy in particular is market profile. And I've seen thousands of indicators. Uh, if you log on to, uh, I was a trade station uh, guy back for about 15 years. I, I worked with the software for 15 years, just got rid of it last year. Um, and when you, when you, or the trade station, the trading platform, there's a thousand indicators almost, and they're all for free. And they're free for a reason, because none of them works. You know, they, they don't work on a day-to-day -day basis. You, you, the thing I've learned over the past 20 years to trying to show you is that the market is very orderly. There's no chaos in the market. The market is now electronically traded. A lot of these futures markets are electronically traded now. So what market profile does is it allows us to find support and resistance during the day on any market, any futures, any stocks, um, any currency right across the board. And then I use market delta to show me a big buyer sell imbalance. When I was a SOS trader back in the 1990s, that's what we looked for. We looked for big buy and sell imbalances on companies like AOL. We'd buy big blocks of Microsoft, 10,000 shares of Microsoft, Dell computer back in the high flying days, AOL. And we looked for order imbalances. And we try to play the order imbalances and play against the, the traders that are the wrongly positioned traders. The methodology I've put together is to catch the wrongly positioned traders. This is more of an institutional style trading method I'm gonna show you. This is not a retail style of trading method. However, I don't care if you are a beginning trader and I don't care if you have a 40 to 50 years experience. What I'm gonna show you is the order flow of the market. Now, my background, like I said, um, is uh, it goes back 20 plus years. And when I put this together, uh, we've actually uh, uh, developed our own proprietary Renko bar type also. Not only did I put the indicators together of market profile combined with Fibonacci retracements and market delta to combine for exact buy points or sell points in the market, what I did is I put together my own Renko bar. I don't use share charts. I don't use tick charts. I don't use volume charts. I don't use range bars. They don't give you a true indication of price action. And so I developed my own proprietary Renko bar and locked it on our, my own server so it can't get out to the public. So this is something that I put together um, and it's something that uh, uh, works very, very well in all markets. Now we did get rated in the top five out of 414 live rooms. There's a lot more rooms out there right now, uh, but um, uh, uh, we, we did get recognized based upon the methodology of buying and selling retracements with overall trend direction. Now, we do have uh, uh, one website that you really need to uh, look at, uh, daytradingthefutures.com, daytradingthefutures.com. Click on that. 
You can see today's trade, uh, today, yesterday's trade that we had in the room, and it's uh, um, see what type of uh, you'll see what type of methodology we have. But let me break this down. I'm a chart guy. I, I like showing charts instead of talking about myself and my experience and, and so on. I, I'm a chart guy. I think a chart speaks for itself. A chart doesn't lie to you. Either you got distribution or you got accumulation. And there, there's, you know, that's the market. It's, it's a, it's a, you know, either you're going up or you're going down or you're going sideways. So what I want to show you today is a lot of charts and show you how this works. But this is the three components that, um, that, that my methodology is comprised of. And these three components I have found to be the best trading strategy, best indicator strategies I've ever seen. And I've worked with hundreds, if not thousands of traders. I used to train traders actually in my business. Yeah, they would pay me directly, come watch me trade, and I would charge them a certain fee. I'd look at their indicators you're using and so on. I moved on from that, and then I went into strictly um, a, a live day trading room, and that's what Jero and I came together. And now we educate traders around the world on showing them how they can have high probability trades and have an advantage over their trading opponents. Our job as educators, myself, to you, is to show you the highest probability of success on each and every time you pull a trigger with my methodology. That is what I'm going to show you how, on how I do things. So my combination, first of all, I use market profile. Now, if you, I'm not going to get in detail market profile, but market profile has been around since 1985. I did not create market profile. I don't take credit for market profile. That's Peter Stoudemire and his associates back in 1985. However, what I do take credit for is how I use market profile. And I'll show you, it's a very unique way, very proprietary way how I use it. And I have a unique way how I calculate market profile also. Mine's a little bit different than everybody else's. Um, so it's been around for 31 years, okay? Now, if you look at market profile, market profile is what? It is supply and demand. So, you know, basically you're going to get more supply at a, at a value level or more demand at a, at a different value level, and that is what creates order flow back and forth between um, these different markets. And I'll show you how, how we work that. And then I have Fibonacci retracements. This is another component of the algorithm that I put together. So market profile is going to show us the support and resistance, and that's going to show you on any market where the main support and resistance is going to be. Um, and then it's, it's the footprint, per se, of the market. That's your roadmap. Market profile is your roadmap. It's going to tell you every single day on any given market that you trade, where is the highest probability turning point? I'm going to show you how we nail it, okay? And then the Fibonacci retracements, what they do is they allow us to know, okay, well, market profile shows me the area, okay, of major support resistance. The Fibonacci retracements then will show me the timing of getting into those, and I'll show you how that works. Then there's market delta. A lot of traders probably don't know what market delta is, it's fascinating, okay? It's very, very fascinating if you're a new trader in the markets. What market delta is, is basically an order imbalance between the bid and the ask. When, I don't care if you trade stocks, if you trade futures, if you trade currency, what have you, you have a bid and you have an ask. There's going to be an imbalance of orders between the bid and the ask. When there's an imbalance of those orders, that creates movement up or movement down. So when you see the market trying to mark the market up or mark the market down, what it's trying to do is it's showing you there's an order imbalance on one side. In other words, there's more sellers or there's more buyers. And so market delta, what it tells us is, where is that order imbalance? Okay, is it a buy imbalance or a sell imbalance? So what I do is I let market profile set my, my areas up of where support resistance is and my Fibonacci doc to show me where the timing of the trade to get in is at. And then I use market delta as my last tool to say, hey, okay, I know market profiles work for 31 years. I know that I've seen thousands and thousands of trades where sometimes it stops to the exact tick. That's how accurate it is. But that's not enough. I want the market to show me that there's a major order imbalance exactly at that price point in time when I come within two ticks. And I'm saying this, yes, within two ticks of my market profile. It's so accurate, my market profile, sometimes it'll stop to the exact tick, but I require it to come within two ticks of my market profile, and then I look for market delta to pop me in the trade. Now, the trading rules, very easy to understand. I, I'm, I'm a black and white type guy. There's no gray area when I trade. 
when I teach traders how to trade, there's no wishy-washy. When you come in and you sit down at your trading computer and you're trading, let's say, the S&P or the NASDAQ futures or the Dow minis, or let's say you want to trade, you know, the euro or the British pound, New Zealand, you want to trade copper, whatever it is, gold, crude, it's the same exact setup. My trading rules are the same for every single market. When, now, there's two ways to use my algorithm. You can use it on your own trading computer, which is a Ninja Trader based software program. Or if you don't have Ninja Trader and you don't want to set up a Ninja Trader, then we have a trading room that you can watch live 23 out of 24 hours a day, six days a week. And that trades crude oil and gold. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. You can put all these markets, trade any market around the world you want, any futures, stocks, currency, Forex, doesn't matter. With Ninja Trader, that's what our software is based upon. Or come in our live room, you can log in, log out as many times you want, and you'll see live trades running in gold and crude. Now the trading rules. The first thing we do, I tell my traders, grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, sit down at your trading platform, and go to work. The first thing we recognize is this. Okay, I don't care what it is. The market can only do two things. It's either going to go vertical on you or it's going to go sideways on you. It can only do two things. So are we trending up? We trending down or going sideways in a chop market? You must know that with my trading plan. You've got to establish a trend. If we're trending down, I'm selling retracements with trend. If I'm trending up, I'm buying retracements with trend. Okay? A lot of traders fail because they try to sell a high when the market's in a hard move up and they get, get taken out, counter-trend trading. I can't tell you how many traders have come to me from other trading rooms, books, et cetera, other different methodologies, and they say, hey, I wiped my account out. What'd you do? Counter-trend traded. You cannot counter-trend trade the market. I have a specific setup where we only counter-trend trade around 15% of the time. 80 to 85% of the time, we are trend traders with retracements. That's why this thing's so accurate, and I'll show you how we do it. So after we establish a trend, let's say the trend is up. I'll show you how to do it. Our market profile then is going to set the trade up. It's very important you understand this. Market profile has worked for 31 years. 31 years. You don't need enough. There's no holy grail out there. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. This is all you need to set the trade up. I've seen thousands of indicators. I've never seen an indicator beat market profile. And I've traded with institutional traders, hedge funds, prop firms, not your average retail trader. And I've never seen anything beat market profile. Market profile will set the trade up. Now, I use three. What's unique about me, there's market profile out there. A lot of traders have market profile. What separates me from everyone else is I use three proprietary market profiles that I use. These three market profiles find where they overlap with each other. I use volume, I use price, and I use developing. When these three overlap within a couple ticks, two, three, four ticks of each other, you have a stack level. That is like a brick wall for any market to get through. And it should stop the market in its tracks and reversal. We had a hell of a trade to the downside today and yesterday. I'll show you how we did it. Okay? We want price to retrace within a few ticks of these levels. Now, when I show you where our market profile levels are, I'm not saying it should come in with, within 20 ticks, 25 ticks, 30 ticks. I'm saying I'm, this is so accurate. I'll show you it should come within two, maximum three ticks before you get a market delta to pull you in. That's how accurate it is. So when I set the trade up, when the, my system sets the trade up, then I'm going to show you with market delta how it confirms with the order balance to pull yourself in. Once market delta confirms and we pull ourselves in on the market, our stop is placed two ticks above or below that swing. In other words, our stops are at that swing higher, swing low, two ticks above or below. Our stops are final stops. We never move stops. We don't average down ever. It's, it's, it's black or white. There's no gray area. Either it's a loss or a winner. That's how accurate the system is. I don't need to average in, average down, average down. No. If you keep averaging down on systems, that means your system is not very accurate. Okay? We never average down. We only enter at the time of the entry and stop out if it's a stop out. Our stops are small relative to our risk. Now, talking about re reward to risk before I move on, we're trying to get a four to, six one, four to six to one reward to risk ratio. What's that mean? I'm trying to risk about $120 to get $400 to $600 on any given trade. On hard trend days like today, we could have 
a good thousand dollar trade risking 120 bucks. Your average entry is going to risk around 120 per one contract trading crude oil or gold and even less on the S&P and the Dow minis. Okay. Let's move on. Now I'm going to show you these graphs. Okay. We, we, I do have automated trading systems that we do have um, that I use. And then we, I'm showing you educational software right now for you also. But we all know that past performance is not in, indicative of future results. If you need to read, read our disclaimer, go to www.daytradingthefutures.com. Just want to make sure you get a CFTC rule. It's very important to read if you're a new trader. Make sure you read that because the market is not guaranteed. Let's make sure we understand that before I move on. All right, let's get rolling here. This is today, okay? Here's some of my traders in the room to show you this is, this is tangible. You, you, this is tangible stuff. These are real traders out there that I'm going to teach you how to become these traders that do very well in the room. Here's Terrence. Terrence on one of the shorts. Might not make it back today. I may go play golf. What a job. $1,000 by 10 o'clock. That's just one of our traders. One of the shorts that, that we picked out today. Traders responded today. I asked who took the short on the major market profile sell point. Tom, yes. Terrence, yes. Mark, Charles, Lawrence. You know, all the way down. Kwame, all the way down. Look at all these traders. That's just a few of the traders in the room that took the trade that I'm going to show you at the same price point in time and the market tank. So I'm going to show you that these traders knew nothing about market profile and my methodology because my market profile and market delta is unique. It's different than everybody else's. They absolutely knew nothing. I don't care if they're Tom, you know, or Tom right here. He's a floor trader, ex-floor trader. Over, what, 10 years experience on the floor. He's a floor trader. And then you got some other traders in here that had no experience. But they all took the same trade. Why? How can you have a floor trader and someone with no experience take the same trade? Because traders are not born. Electronic traders are not born. The one thing you have to understand, traders are not born, guys and gals. This is a learned skill. Okay? I can teach you how to control risk, and I can teach you, okay, controlling risk, but not only that, letting your profits run. So that's just an example of our profitable traders this morning who caught this trade. Now, here's what they did. Now, I have three different charts. That Here's market profile, which I'm going to show you. Here's my Fibonacci dots I'm going to show you. And right here is the market delta, which I'm going to show you. Okay? Market delta being, meaning the order and balance. These are your three main charts you're going to work off of. Now, I'll back up. Now, I'm going to explain every one in great detail for you so you understand it. And then we'll look at trade by trade by trade. But... This is today's trade on the order imbalances. Okay, what the? Let's go. Let's go backwards first. I'm gonna go backwards. Market delta is going to show you the order imbalance. Now, you don't have to be the brightest bear in the woods to realize red is sell, green is buy. I color coded this real nice for you. So my Rinko bar, red when it closes red at a huge major inflection point, that is a sell when it closes. This over here was a sell when it closes. The numbers down here are indicative of how big the imbalance was. So my market delta, market profile is right here, which I'll show you. Stopped almost at the exact tick here. Stopped almost at the exact tick here. And these were my Fibonacci dots came up. How we enter, I'm going to go backwards here for you because I want to show you how this works. When we're ready to enter, we're going to look at this market delta chart. And you can have this on your own charts and it works on any markets. When it closes, if you look at the cell, when it closes red, you're going to open your position up at the next opening of the next, at the close of this red bar. So it's color coded. Market delta down here was 497. On crude oil, I only use a five sim Rinko bar, my proprietary Rinko bar up here. Anything over 200 is a major order imbalance, huge order imbalance. So this one was a big one, 497. That was a no brainer at market profile. Okay. That told you to get short. You want to sell the bid. Okay. I don't like doing market orders. Sell the bid, and you can place your stop two ticks above that swing high. Now, that's going to average you in around a 12-tick stop to 13-tick stop. Crude is $10 per tick, so that's $120 risk you took on that trade per one contract. All right, here was another big inflection point. Up here, the market retraced back up. Remember, the market today was in a downtrend. We don't care about these green bars on market delta. Those are irrelevant. We don't care about the green bars. We know those are accumulating. That they're trying to mark the market up. These are the wrongly positioned counter trend traders. The professional money is taking this south, taking this south. 
that counter trend novice traders are trying to counter trend trade the market. We're not going to get involved on this green bar because we what? We buy and sell retracements of trend. If our trend filter is down, which I'll show you how to do it, then we're only selling red and selling red. Okay, so that's market delta. Now let me back up one slide. That's how we enter. This is J signal. Now, look at these red Fibonacci dots, okay? These red Fibonacci dots, when they come up, they are actually looking at all these highs and lows in the market in the past. And they're confluing when the highest probability in a Fibonacci sequence that a reversal is going to happen. But I tell you, you don't buy and sell every single dot that pops up. Red dots mean sell. Blue dots mean buy. If my trend filter is down, we're only going to concentrate on the red dots. If my trend filter is up, we're only going to concentrate on the blue dots. So if I move back over, look, let's look at the times here. Let's look at, that's what, 7.45, 8 o'clock, and here is, you know, just before 9, and here is 9.10. So if I go back to my market delta then, or here it is. Here is my market delta. So when market delta turns, when market delta turns, it's at a big inflection point. Now watch and see. Now watch. When you get the red Fibonacci down and downtrend, you're going to wait for market delta to close red. You want market delta when this red Fibonacci dot starts printing, you wait for market delta to close red. When this Fibonacci dot starts printing today, my traders waited so it closed red. It was three for three this morning. It was 100% correct my algorithm in the morning on retracements right here. Okay? Now, there's a little bit better technique that I teach how to do. You probably are saying, well, what is this green and red line? Remember what I said in the beginning that we don't use, that's what I'm going backwards here for you first. We don't use market profile. We don't use market delta just to pop in the trade. We let market profile set the trade up. Here's how market profile sets the trade up. We use two charts, this J signal chart with Fibonacci retracements and my black chart I'm going to show you in a second. So what we're going to do is this red line is low value area. It's called, I mean, green line. That's low value area. This red line is high value area. What we're going to do is we're going to let the market weaken. We're going to catch all these wrongly positioned traders. We're going to let the market break down through low value, and we're going to look for the first retracement. Because I have one thing I tell my traders. We never buy below value in a downtrend. We never buy below value. We wait till it comes back up. When I see a red Fibonacci dot after it first breaks down through low value area, we know we now caught the wrongly positioned traders. I'm looking for the first retracement Fib dot. It works on the S&P the same way, the NASDAQ futures, the Dow minis. I'll show you examples. It's the same exact setup. So my traders knew I was below low value. This is a sell. This is a sell. This is a sell. My Fibonacci dots plus market delta called every single one of those moves. It was 100% correct. Okay? Let's go back now to market profile. And then we'll put this all together. My profile is very unique. On this black chart, I got two profiles. I have a solid green line, a solid blue line, and a, and a solid red line. High values in red, low values in green, and the blue is the control point. The blue control point is the most volume that is traded on that market that you are trading in that session after midnight. That's the most volume that's traded. And here's how it can spot trades. It's unbelievable how this thing spots trades. Look how my high value stopped it to the tick. Look how my control point exceeded by a couple ticks and then got a reversal. Let me show you the technique, what we use, though, on how to catch these. And this is where my traders, all those traders, got this big short today. Okay? What we have is a trend filter, first of all. This is built in already. I do not like moving averages. Moving averages to me are worthless. Anybody that's ever come to me with moving averages, I've never seen a profitable trader with moving averages, not one. And I've trained hundreds, if not thousands of traders. There's not one moving average person I've seen make money that has come to me. I've never seen one person with a moving average convergence divergence make money. Not one person that strictly does divergence make money has come to me. Not one. What's that tell you? They're all lagging indicators. What market profile does, it's leading. These support and resistance levels are there before you even right, before you, you, uh, way before you even think about taking a trade. Now, the control point is very simple, the blue. That's going to be big resistance. The basic methodology is this. If I got a trend filter moving averages I don't like, but I use them for trend direction, the best trend indicator is this magenta MA that I put into this algorithm. And what it does, if it is 
down, angle down, or your, the smaller ones cross down, we're in a downtrend. You only want to sell retracements. You do not buy green. We do not buy green. We do not buy blue. We only sell blue on a break retest or sell the retest of red or break retest of green. We're only selling retracements because we're in a downtrend. We're, we're sticking to one side of the market, but that's not even good enough. I'm going to show you how this stacks up. Now, this is going to fascinate you when I show you how this works. You're going to see hundreds, if not thousands of trades like this. It's called stack levels, okay? Look how my solid line is more volume-based. It's going to adjust with price around, I mean, with, with uh, markets two or three times in the morning to adjust and try to find value and lock itself in. Once it locks itself in and stops moving, then you can buy and sell retracements off of it. These dotted lines are more price-based. They're static. They're not going to move. They're going to update periodically. So I got two levels. I got two profiles on this chart. I got price profile, which is red and green and blue, and then I've got my more volume base. What I'm trying to find is I'm trying to find when they stack on top of each other within a couple ticks. You see how the blue price and the blue control, I mean the blue volume stacked within a couple ticks of each other? That creates resistance. My traders knew that, and they all jumped on a, on a retracement. Look up here at the, at the HVA high value area. Look how my price profile was stacked there also. So within three ticks, I had price profile and volume profile stacked right there. So you want negative market delta at that stacked area. You want negative market delta at this stacked area. Now check this out at the same price point in time. Watch this price point right here, right before 8 o'clock, right? That's where it happened on my what? On my market profile. What happened right here? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've got another, I got my Fibonacci dot that just broke through market profile, retested low value area, and it's exactly the same price point in time as my black market profile. I'm taking two different strategies. I've got Fibonacci retracements, which this is a different market profile. This is developing profile. Remember, on the black chart, I have only three profiles I look to stack on top of each other. Now, check this out. This is really going to resonate when you see this. I've got my... Control point, control point stack right here, right before 8 o'clock, within a couple ticks of each other on the retracement. Okay? Remember, I only have prices my dotted, they're static, and my volume, it locks itself in. The control point was right there. Now look at the same price point in time. Where's my low value area, which is green, over on my developing profile on the white chart? It's at the same price within a couple ticks. I've got three profiles that are stacking on top of each other, that creates a brick wall for price when it comes back up for retracement. So when this market breaks down, it retraces back up to that brick wall and guess what we have? What do we want? Negative market delta, nailed it. Came back up again to triple market profile. Negative market delta, nailed it. Came back up again. Look at that brick wall that my three market profiles created. It created a brick wall for price to get through. And it couldn't do it, could it? The easiest way to trade this white chart, I tell traders, is this. It's called the J signal chart. The black is a market profile. This is J signal. There's three profiles. You've got developing on the white chart right here, low value, high value. And I go back to my white chart. I got my what? I got my low value, high value here too. Low value green, high value red. But then I have my control point on the black chart. That control point, it did it with a lot of markets today again. It's invaluable. It will keep and move and lock itself in. It nailed the S&P today. It nailed gold today. It nailed crude today. It nailed the Dow minis today. It's a very, very neat little indicator watch by itself. When that control point overlaps any time over, any time over price profile, it's my volume profile. Remember, the most volume traded. And it locks itself in. You have yourself a huge opportunity for a high risk, I mean, a low risk, a high opportunity trade. And that's what my traders that I just shown you nailed the market and Terrence had to happen to do over $1,000 on. All right? So that's the combination we use. We use the combination of letting the market profile set. What, what it's doing is it's looking at uh, support and resistance all throughout the day. And it's spinning out these different levels for you. It's, 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 this is the footprint of the road, roadmap. It's letting you know where you need to buy and sell. But I made it easier for you. I don't want you to buy and sell these markets until you get three, two, minimum two profiles or three profiles that stack over top of each other. 
within a couple ticks. That's going to create major reversal points. And this J signal chart with the with the Fibonacci retracements, okay, gives you additional confluence to pop in the trade. Let's move on. I'm going to show you yesterday's trade. That's today's trade. Yesterday's trade, you're like, man, this this this, this, this stops the markets in its tracks. Yes, it does. There'll be days like today, we were 100% today on JSignal, right? There'll be days you come in and you're just like, wow, this is pretty amazing stuff. Is this a stacked area? Let, let's, let's quiz. Is this a stacked area right here, guys and gals, where my cursor's at? Is this a stacked area? Give me a Y or an N. Is this a stacked area? From what I just educated, this is yesterday's trade. Is that a stacked area? Is that a stacked area, yes or no? Stacked area? Yes, it is. Remember, on the black chart, there's only two profiles. There's the dotted, which is the price profile, and there's control point. Didn't I just say, didn't I just tell you the control point is just like, it's phenomenal, okay? Did I, did, did I just show you how it called the high? Did I just show you how my traders nailed it right here? And this thing tanked, by the way, even more. But see the control point? Now look at yesterday's trade. Isn't this the same exact setup? Control point, right? Now, are we in a downtrend or uptrend? Type U for up or D for down. Look at the trend filter. Are we in a downtrend or uptrend? Are we in a downtrend or uptrend? D for down, U for up. Downtrend. Just look at this chart on my trend filter. We're in a downtrend. Remember, the magenta moving average, if it's angled down, we're in a downtrend. Look at my smaller moving average. Look at the spread between them. It's in a serious downtrend, serious downtrend. If you take any buys at all, you need to go up against a brick wall and smack your head up against a couple times because you got to wake up, okay? You are not in an uptrend. You're in a downtrend, right? This is where counter trend traders get killed. They get killed. They get taken to the woodshed. Us professional traders, we have a, a, a little thing we call woodshed. When novice traders keep... Trying to buy the lows, low gets taken out. Trying to buy the buy the uh, lows, low gets taken out. So if you're in a downtrend, we sell retracements that are stacked levels with trend. The control point's a beautiful place to go short. Now, would you buy this, even though this thing, the bounce right here, would you buy this low value? Who would buy this low value right here? Would anybody buy this low value according to my methodology? It bounced right off my low value area market profile. According to my methodology, do you buy this with positive market delta? Right here. Low value area in green. Would you buy this? Yes or no? Give me a Y or an N. Would you buy this level because it bounced nice? Would you buy green? Would you buy low value? No. You're selling retracements because trend filters down. We only sell stack levels because we're in a downtrend. Okay? Good job, guys. You guys are picking this up. Yeah, don't, don't be buying low value area. You get your clock clean. What we want to do is this is where the wrongly positioned traders get caught. And I tell you what, I love it. I love it. Gosh, I tell you, I can't tell you how much I love smiling ear to ear when I see this. All right, this is called a rejected level. This is called a rejected level, okay? A rejected level is right here. Rejected level. When you break the rejected level, Old support becomes new resistance. Look how this big long bar catches all those wrongly positioned traders right here. All those wrongly positioned traders who have their stop at LVA, look at that big long bar. That it stops getting taken out. Okay? You sell the retracement to low value. Good job, Dennis. Because guess what? Th these are the days where the market can go down 100 ticks, 150 ticks. These are the thousand to two thousand dollar per one contract days. Instead of counter trend trading for $200 when you can back the bank up and get a thousand to two thousand dollar trade risking 120 bucks. That's the difference. Okay? That's the difference. Yeah, the accuracy I'll go over in a second too, Vicky. I'll show you how to do it. The so what we do is if we're in a downtrend, we we let it break retest, break retest, right? Over here, look at my high value area. Remember, we don't buy low value in a downtrend. We let low value area break retest, or we sell high value, right? Just like yesterday. Now look, look guys and gals, this should start resonating with you. Look at my profile today, I'm sorry. 
There's a high value area. Everybody see it? Stopped it. My profile, my volume profile stopped it to the exact tip. And, and hey, crude oil is one of the most volatile markets. That and gold, they're my two favorites. Everybody says, oh my gosh, you're too fast. It's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. You obviously you haven't traded them before with great stop, um, I mean, uh, money management. As long as you place your stop two ticks above that swing high or swing low, you want volatility. You need volatility as a trader. You want it. You need it. So gold and crude, I love it. So look how high value stopped it in a downtrend, right? High value, stack level. Now look at the same trade today in a control point. Control stopped it here today. High value stopped it. Did it do, yet, did it do it yesterday? Look, here it is. Control point stopped it, two times confluence. This stopped it. Now watch, I'm going to show you why this is confluence. You're probably thinking, well, why does he say it's a two times stacked area when I only see on the black chart there's only two profiles? I got my volume, which are the line, and I got my price, which are the dots. What's Jay talking about? And how, how come this is a stacked area over here? What, what's he even talking about? There's no profile stacked on top of each other. Remember the other white chart? Everybody remember that? Remember that chart? It had a developing profile on it? Check it out. This price point in time, developing profile, had my Fibonacci dots, came exactly at the same price point in time. <clears throat> so the same price point in time, watch this. Same price point in time at 841, and it first hit up here, the Fibonacci dots hit over here, tanked. Came up here, tanked. Hit market profile, tanked. This hit my low value area on my developing profile. This hit my low value area. So you can use the white chart as an additional profile if it comes within a couple of ticks. All right? Now, was there a major market delta yesterday? Now watch this. Look. This is, look at 10.02. Let's go back to 10.02. Check this out. 10.02. Everybody see my control point right there? See this? Two times stacked area, downtrend. You want to see a major order imbalance to get you in that trade? This is a huge trade. This, this trade moved all the way down. This was a $700 trade, $700 trade per one contract with a maximum risk of $120. How'd you do it? Let's look. Came in two times confluence. There's your control point. Negative 431. You got to be kidding me. I just told you anything over 200 on crude oil on using my 5 sim Rinko, and I, I give this to you for your own charts. Anything over 431 is a major order imbalance. This is not my opinion. Don't listen to me, okay? Listen to the market. This is the internals of the market. Market Delta saying, hey, hey. It's the internals of the market saying, hey, we're at the control point, the most volume traded in a downtrend. You broke and retested it. Two times stacked area. It's a sell. But I said, hey, that's not good enough. Show me an order imbalance. Show me that that control point's not going to get blown through. There it is, negative 431. Now, Vicky, F, what is the accuracy? How do, and let me show you how to get smaller stocks. Now watch. Let me educate you guys on market dollar. We enter at the open, at the close of this bar, right? Hit the two times control point. It was negative 431. So we're going to enter at the close of this bar, okay, at the close. It works great in ranging markets. You can make more money in ranging markets on trend days, and I'll tell you how to do it in a second, Vicky. I think I've got some examples in here too. You sell the high, buy the low, then you look for a symmetrical wedge breakout retest outside of value. Love it. Love range markets. Negative 431. So you enter at the close of this bar. Your stop loss is placed two ticks above that swing high. What do you do when the system is wrong? What do you do when the system is wrong? Let me see you where you get out. Okay, let's see where you get out of the trade. Exactly. Let's keep your stop. Let's say, hey, maybe I don't want to risk 120 bucks, right? If this next wrinkle bar closes green and you just got in for the short, if it closes green, take a small loss. Take a $60 loss. Take a $40 loss for one contract, take an 80. You don't have to take a $120 to $130 loss. Remember, our maximum loss on crude and gold is $150 no matter what. Worst case scenario, we're trying to get a six, four to six to one reward to risk, maybe even a 10 to one. But we never 
ever hold the trade if it closes red at the next bar. I mean green. Okay? That means if I get a big selling bounce at 431 and all of a sudden this turns closes green, there shouldn't be a buy imbalance at a control point. When I'm at the control point right here, I'm at the control point, two times stacked area on a retracement and downtrend. There should be no buy imbalance. Get out. The market's telling you. See, you don't think traders are not born, okay? Trading is a skill, a learned skill. Read the market. If you come up to the control point and you get negative market delta and it closes red and you get in at the, at the close of this bar and the next one closes green, you're wrong. Get out. Take a small loss. That's the difference between a novice trader and a professional trader, and that's the difference between a profitable trader and a losing trader. So my system is very accurate because what it does, it allows you to cap stop small. Now, if you want to see the accuracy on any market, the one thing I hate it, and I tell you what, I spent a lot, a lot of money on indicators in the early 90s, okay? A lot of indicators, $5,000 here, 5000 there, 3000 I mean, I just blew a lot of money in indicators out of college because I didn't know what I was doing. I thought, they said, this is the holy grail. Bought it, divergence, wrong. You know, this is the holy grail, counter trend trading, wrong. I just waste a lot of money. But it, it helped me as a trader learn that right away that 99% of indicators are wrong. I mean, that's just, in my opinion, 99.9% .9 of indicators are wrong. They work once, but they don't work every day like market profile, market delta. And so that's the one thing I learned. So what I do with my indicators is you can back test my indicators. It'll show every single market profile, every single Fibonacci dot, and it does not repaint. I made sure my indicators don't repaint. And all those strategies that I bought in the past, they repaint. In other words, it only shows winners. So if you get, you'll know in the first month, if you put it on your own computer, you know in the first month if you got something you can be proper with because it shows every single trade. You can back test months and months and months. And I'll show you the profitability of that system on all these markets. That's what separates me from all the chaff out there. A lot, a lot of indicators out there don't work. They'll never show you the losers. I show them all, okay, because this works really well. Now, news reports. How does it work on news reports? Market Delta, this is after news on crude oil inventories. Look at this. Look at this opportunity, 685. News just got released. Crude oil inventories. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. Wednesdays at 1030. Love crude oil inventory report. My traders love it. Eat it up. I tell traders, go flat before the news report. Don't hold your position in the news. Let it post. Wait 15 to 20 seconds after the news is released. Go to work with market profile, market delta. Look at this. Three opportunities. One, two, three. Market explodes. Huge order about here, 441, 475, 685. Market explodes to the upside. So you can use this with news events also. Okay? Love it. This is another trade that this month we did. Stack level, a lot of traders got on this. And I want to show you, this is just lovely stuff. Market rolled over here, got below all the moving averages, broke the control point. And I'm telling you guys and gals, if you take anything from this and you come in, watch how the control point moves and locks itself in. And if, my, if, if crude oil, if you come in for a trial and gold breaks it, retests it. These are not like trades where you sit down on these, on these other indicators, you're like, ah, when's the next setup? Oh, woe is me. It's never going to happen. I'm telling you right now, if you break through the control point and you retest it, there's probably going to be some major action happening because you just, tra you just broke through the most volume that's been traded. We look for the first retracement, not 20 ticks away, not 30 ticks. You've got to come within two or three ticks, my system's so accurate, and then give me what? you got to give me what? Negative market delta. Now watch how this happened here also. Now watch. All right? 932. It broke and it retested my control point. What did it do on my white J signal chart, my Fibonacci retracements? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've got the Fibonacci dots that happen at the same price point in time, the exact same price point in time that it's retesting the control point. That is what? What is the control point? Is that a stack level in the control point? Look where my cursor's at. Yes or no? 
Is that a stack level, yes or no? See if you're picking this up. Remember, you want two times or three times stack market profile. I only work with three different profiles, only three. Is that a stack level? Yeah, only one trader thinks it's a stack level. Anybody else know? It is a stack level. Look at my low value area price profile overlapping my volume profile control within a couple ticks. So I broke through a stack level, came down to my LVA. Now, are we buying LVA down here, guys? No. The bounce. We're looking for the sell retracement within two ticks. Here it is. There's my Fibonacci dot at my stack level. What do we do? Look at my market delta. Look at my market delta. Is that a negative market delta? It's a negative market delta, isn't it? At my two times area stack and my Fibonacci retracement. Look, I mean, hey, do we buy the green guys? This is where LVA was. We had an order and bounce at LVA. I popped it. And, and here's for all you counter trend traders. Do you really want this? Or do you want this? Which do you prefer? Do you want this? Or do you want this? Now you understand why counter trend traders don't make it in the markets. They don't last very long. They do not last very long. You want the sell imbalance with trend. Okay? Make sure you guys understand that. I had a question about, oh, so a stack can be volume level with price level. Yes, Dennis. Let's go back to that. It can be price, volume, or developing. This is developing right here, okay? Let me show you why the market bounced, Dennis. You see how my J signal chart is LVA right here? See how about where my cursor is at? That's low value area, buddy. See that low value area? That's, remember, I have three profiles, one on this white chart, low value and high value, and then two on the black chart, price and volume. You see how, see how right there my low value volume was right there at the same price point in time. My developing was right there. That's why the market bounced. You see that? But consequently, at the same time, you see my low vo my volume profile up here was stacked over top my blue. You see that? So not only did it bounce the low, that's how accurate this darn thing is. Not only did it bounce on a counter trend trade from a stack level, you'll see it all the time. It does bounce off the counter trend trading off the stack level. This is two times area stack into two times area stack sell. But what do you want? Do you want a counter trend trade two times area stack to move up? Or do you want two times area stack with the trend? You see my point, Dennis? Not that it doesn't work. I just don't want you to fall into counter trend trading. Okay, there's enough trades with trend. Enough trade. Do they work off my levels? Yes, but don't fall into that. Okay? This is blowed up for you a little bit. There's your short entry on that same trade. So when it closes red, you're into that control point, into the Fibonacci retracement. When it closes red, I don't care what market you trade, you enter at the close of this red bar. You place your stop two ticks above that swing high, and you don't violate that. If that takes you out, let it take you out. Do not move your stop. It's either a winner or it's a loser. The system is accurate. The accuracy is uncanny if you are a systematic trader. Do not move stops. Stop is two ticks above this swing high, period. Okay? If it closes green on the first couple bars, especially the first bar, you enter. At, the, at, the, at this open of this bar, and it closes green, what do you do? Let's say you get short here, place your stop two ticks above the swing high, and this bar closes green, what do you do? See if you've been paying attention. It closes green, what do you do? What do you do? You just got short red, and the next bar closes green where my cursor's at, closes green, what do you do? Just hope for the best, put your hands together, pray, Yell at the market, hope it works out, you take a small stop, right? Remember that? On market delta, if, the, if you get short on a close of this red and the next one closes green, get out. Take a small loss. I want to see them marking the market down. Marking the market down, red, 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 red. Now, after the first five or six reds, after your first target's off, and here's money management skills, guys and gals. Most traders take off the first 10 ticks, break even plus one, then they let their runner run to the next set of symmetry dots or market profile. We're trying to get around a $700 trade. 
off of it in hard training markets on a third set of symmetry dots. Okay? This happened at our two times tech. This is a retest of my LVA profiles. This happened, okay, this, this month. You think that's a big, why is that such a big number? I just educated you why on crude oil. 800 is a huge sell imbalance, right? Anything over 200 is a major sell imbalance. We had 800, it called the high of the session and the market free fall. It free fall. Over a $1,000 trade per one contract, maximum risk, 120 bucks. People, I mean, traders are so naive sometimes. They're like, futures are really risky. You all to, yeah, they're risky if you don't place your stops and you don't leave your stops in. Stops are always two ticks above the swing high or swing low, okay? You've got to make sure you understand that. Keep your stops in. Now, here's what I did. What I just tell you in this white chart, the best time to look for trades, we don't buy below the green on developing profile. That's a no-no. That's where counter trend traders get taken to woodshed. We don't sell above the high value. So look what the market did. It broke down to the low value. The market weakened. It retraced and hit what? First red Fibonacci dot. This is going to be your best trade. When you break inside or outside the first time of this red and green market, I mean, double, double in profile on the white chart, your first retracement, negative market delta. Now, you can take a counter trend trade. A good counter trend trade will be right here. When you get back inside of LVA and retest LVA at a positive 341, it went all the way to HVA. In other words, what I'm telling you to do on this white chart, don't play it by itself unless you break outside retest LVA. Break inside LVA, retest. Okay? with positive negative market delta. Here's where it was, watch. We got back inside of LVA, it retested, and look at this little sucker, 341. I mean, are you just tickled pink on this or what? This sucker went from 49.90, it told you not to get out, all the way up, $600 for one contract, maximum risk, 120, slippage, 130 bucks. That's how market delta and market profile can really do some damage. A great combination, okay? Let's look at a hard training market. How do you get into hard training markets? Now, all these novice traders, these are the days where I hear, oh, woe well, it's me. The market made me lose money again. I'm yelling at the market. Listen, the market's not living. It's not breathing. It doesn't hate you. It's not against you. If you sold any of these retracements up there, you deserve to lose. You deserve to lose. You do. You deserve because you are not knowledgeable enough to trade the market. This is a hard trending market. It broke out a high value all the way here. How I teach my traders, you break out a high value above red, you never, 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 never sell the markets. When you break below low value, you never, never buy the markets. You buy retracements. Positive 229 right here, Fibonacci. Positive 310 market delta. Positive 250 on this blue Fibonacci dot. Positive 264. One, two, three, four. Four for four on the way up. That was almost a 200 tick move. $2,000 move per one contract, maximum potential with $120, $130 risk. Now, does Market Delta confirm it? Watch 310 was right there. Watch. There's 310. Go back to 310. This is 310 right here. Here was 310. Now watch. There was 310 on this blue, my blue Fibonacci dot nailed the exact low. But look how my 310 market delta nailed it. Watch, here it is. Watch. Look at that. Look at that right there. Is that gorgeous or what? Tell me any system that can outbeat the accuracy of that combination of market profile, market delta. It's pretty hard to beat. Here again. Now watch. Here's 250 and 264. Let's go back to that chart. Watch. Watch and learn. 250 is right here. 250s right here. Here's 264, the blue Fibonacci dot. Let's look what Market Delta did. Let's check it out. Come on. Let's check it out. Boom. Major buy and bounce. 250. Pause the Market Delta up. Retraces again. Here's where my blue Fibonacci dot popped up. Pause the 264. That's what we do. We buy and sell retracements with trend. We don't go against market profile, and we let Market Delta get into trade with low risk. Okay? Pretty impressive, right? Pretty neat. Now, just like when you buy the breakout, 
just like we bought the breakout here, we don't sell above high value, just like you don't buy below low value. Now we broke below low value. Look for the first retracement, negative market delta, gold tanks. This is a huge trade. That trade was over what? Almost $900 trade, risking 130 bucks. Why? Because we're smarter than the average trading opponent. We know we don't buy below low value. And, low, and all these market profile books, market profile educators are like, buy low value, sell high value. No, 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 no. If you have any, any trading experience at all, you don't buy below low value. You don't sell above high value. You'll get your clock cleaned. Don't do it. I teach you what to do and what not to do with market profile. Here we go again. This time it broke back inside of high value. So what's that do? We're now allowed to short above. Here's another counter. This is a counter trend trade that you can take. If you were outside of high value, you buy retracement. But this time it broke inside of high value. So now you're allowed to take the counter trend trade on the first retracement with negative market delta. My system absolutely nailed the exact high negative market delta, and guess what? Tank. That's a counter trend trade you're allowed to take. It happens around 15% of the time, 20%. See, this is not a counter trend trade. This broke outside of high value, retested, positive market delta. But you're allowed to take it outside of HVA retest, just like on the first retest, just like you're allowed to take it inside of HVA for the counter move. That's the only time you're allowed to counter if it gets inside of HVA. Here's an inside break. Here's another counter move. The market was in a hard downtrend. It got back inside of LVA, which caused what? Strength, because we're not allowed to buy below low value. But if it gets back inside of it, we're allowed to take the first retracement. Sure enough, it hit. $700 trade, maximum risk, $130, $120. Nailed it again. Here we go again. HVA, market's in a hard downtrend. Market Delta called the high here, but look what happened. We broke below low value. We do not buy. We sell the first retracement with negative market delta. There's a retracement. Wouldn't you know it? Nailed it. We absolutely nailed it. Market tanks. 2840. This is when oil, people, traders, this is when crude oil was down in the 20s, for goodness sake. We're shorting crude oil at $28 a barrel. At 27, we're still shorting because like new support was down at 26. We're shorting it. And it worked great, right? All those bullish oil traders were buying from $34 a barrel all the way down to 26. Got the clocks clean. We were shorting it because it was still going down because the market told us to. And here, look at this. Look at these retracements. Now, you see this red Fibonacci dot? Look at the time, 742. Here's 828. 828, there's a red Fibonacci dot on profile. 742 on profile. Let's look what market profile did. Market delta. Is that gorgeous or what? Look at the negative market deltas. Okay? Inside LVA retest, positive market delta. There it is. 492. Look how it marries up with it. Watch. Get back inside of LVA. You're allowed to take the first retracement. There's my beautiful fib dot. Keyword first retracement. Positive market delta, 492. Market explodes. Now, this is when oil was going up. This is when it was coming off of the 26th level. We caught the low of crude by 20 ticks. 20 ticks. The exact low of crude, 2025 20, ticks. Because my system said, hey, crude's done selling off. And this is the low before the big surge to $50 a barrel right at 26. My system nailed it. Called almost the, the low. So that's how, how neat this is. All right. Get above HVA, retest. Look at Market Delta, what it did at that time. There it is, 10.33. This is after news came out. This is news, crude oil inventories, 3.88 long. Market just exploded. Look at the market explode up. Look at that explosion up. $30 a barrel all the way to $3,800 trade. Maximum risk, 130 bucks. Why? Because it got outside of high value. That catches all the wrongly positioned traders. You look for the first retracement. Almost done here, Kevin. There's your buy retracement. Here we go. Low value area. We break down through. We're smarter than the average trader. We know not to buy. We only sell retracements. First retracement here. First retracement here. Does market delta tell us when to get in? You know it. There's negative market delta. There's negative market delta. Nail both trades. 
Here again, broke LVA, first retracement, first re or second retracement. Does Market Delta confirm it? Market Delta confirmed it. Market Delta confirmed it. So you get the point, guys and gals. Here's just some of the testimonials. We'll wrap this thing up. Listen, the bottom line is, is that some of these traders, these are some of my long-term members in the room, you know, four out of five, 140 ticks, 189 ticks. We had a trader that lied monies in the room, over 400 ticks in one day between crude, gold, and the Russell 2000. That's $10 per tick, guys. That's over four, almost $5,000 a day in one trading day. How many traders can say they've done that and be that accurate? Very, very few. Okay, so we have a lot of traders out there that do very, very well. All right? If you want a three-day free trial, okay, email me at jason at daytradingthefutures.com. Okay? Gerald is in the background also. Or email gerald at daytradingthefutures.com. Either one, Jason at daytradingthefutures.com or Gerald. You know, if you have any trade questions, email me. If you want to get in for the trial, you can email Gerald. We'll get you in for a three-day free trial. When you come in the trade room, all right, we'll let you view 23 out of 24 hours a day crude oil and gold. You don't have to trade crude oil and gold. This works on all markets. But you'll get an indication of exactly how this works and how it works on crude and gold because then you can relate how it's going to go with S&P 500, the Dow Minis, NASDAQ Futures, et cetera, because it works on all markets right across the board, no matter what. All right? So you have to send over just your name and email required. That's all we require. You got three free days. I will be in the room at 815 sharp on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll go over the methodology with you. I'll, I'll teach you what we're looking for on the stack levels. Do yourself a favor, though, before you come in next week, go to daytradingthefutures.com and then click the videos. I, I do have another ninja, ninja, uh, a ninja, um, a ninja webinar, an hour webinar. If you want more information on this, you can play that. But all you got to do is go to the videos, go to training videos. You'll see today's trade, yesterday's trade. I go in detail how to trade the system. And I'll see you guys and gals next week. If all attendees that came in, we will give you two free weeks in a row. If you sign up to one month lease in a row, we'll give you two free weeks to help learn the methodology. That'll give you plenty of time to decide if this is for you or not. You'll know right away in the first month. This is not, well, you got to be in here six months to see the accuracy, all these other rooms. You'll know in the first month right away if this is for you or not. Uh, we will give you two free months if you sign a six-month subscription. So that brings your cost of business down considerably because we give you two free months for six months. All right, you guys have a great one. I want to thank Kevin and Kathy once again. I will be uh, in the room, 815 sharp, to see you guys next Wednesday. Look for the passwords that come out Tuesday night. Gerald will send the passwords out to you. It's imperative we get an email from you or you will not get in the room. Jason at daytradingthefutures.com. Ask me any questions or Gerald at daytradingthefutures.com. Glad to have you in there. Thanks, Kevin, Kathy. You guys, if you don't come in the room, um, I wish all you many, many tips. And uh, God bless. Take care now.